hi guys and welcome back to my training so in this video we're going to use pixel lab to apply some 3d effects to our logo and also create new designs using pixel lab so let's get started so to get started let's open pixel lab i hope you have it installed on your device so from this single image i can choose to apply just click on this text tab. These are the tabs. From here, you can choose to apply a background to your image. I can change the existing background. I can choose from my gallery, or I can make it transparent, or I can use a colored background. Whatever I want, I can apply here. So I'll just go back and leave the default as it is this is for extra styling you can add some background images and background lighting you can increase the brightness the contrast you can add noise to your background so i'm just going to leave it at that for now so this tab is your basic shape tool you can add shapes to your design select the shape you want and just apply it resize you can make it an ellipse whatever you want for your design so i'm just going to leave it for now and then you can draw also just use your hand to write some text You can import you can use stickers there are free stickers available and you can also import your own stickers create your own stickers from pixart and import here you can import images and start working from there but i'm going to do that by in a moment let's work with let's work with what we have here so this text now i can choose to apply 3d effect i'll just click on the text tab and head scroll all the way to 3d text and click on it i like to leave the depth at 5 by default to come at 10. i would like to the back i would like to darken it up to about 83 to 90 percent you don't want to make it all dark otherwise no one will know it's a 3d text you can add shadow to it i'm not going to use that for now you can add a reflection also not going to use it you can rotate however you want let's say you're doing a book cover you can choose to apply something of this nature and make it tilt however you want you get the concept but i'm not going to apply it for now then you can add shadows to it i like to leave the offset at five minus five and plus one for the y index so i can just apply to it you can add inner shadow but this one it will just make everything look dark and i just don't use it often as but you can try it out and see how it looks you can apply spacing to your text you can align you justify you can align to center align to left this works when you have a lot of text you can add background and select a color for your background or a gradient however you want but i'm not going to use it now you can add curves if you're doing a circular logo and you need to wrap the text around so this is how you do it i'm not going to use it on this you can bold you can utilize you can underline but this is where i like to focus is on the font aspect pixel lab comes with a lot of free fonts which are available for use but sometimes you need extra fonts and in this training i'm going to give you 
free font for over 400 text. So to import your font, you can just, once you download the font, you click on this folder plus icon and select where your font is located. Mine is located at PixArts. You can just choose font and add this directory, but I'm not going to add it because I already have it on my pixel lab. It will just duplicate everything and I don't want that. So let's look for your fonts to apply on our text. I mean, you can search, let's say Times New Roman, you can search for, I like to use, let me just use Vadana for now. Or we can just scroll down to see the one that we like from this. It all depends on what you're designing. You select the font that will fit your design well. So I'm going to choose a font that will fit my fictitious brand. Just use this contour board because it's plain and simple. Then I'll add, let's make this more humanly. I'll use my brand here and the media. And you can choose to duplicate your text rather than typing it and applying all those fonts from a, from beginning. I like to duplicate. So, what is the tagline? Mobile graphics designer. And I'll just apply it and I'll resize so that it will suit my design. Oh, yeah. You can't. This doesn't turn on automatically so you have to turn it on for a guide so that your work will be aligned as you create so <coughs> this is it on this text i can apply an emboss effect to make it look more 3d photography like i'd like to leave this bevel at below from zero from one to five is okay this doesn't really matter you can set this to darken or to brighten i like to leave it halfway so then there's our fictitious logo so from here on out we can choose to apply a mock-up. Let's merge these folders together to see what we can do with them. To merge, you just click on this icon and select the layers you want to merge. Once selected, you just click on merge. So they are merged now. And I can choose to apply I can choose to apply this um, a texture to it. So I'll just click on this and I can either choose a color or texture. Texture is an image. So you just go through your device and locate the folder your images. Let me use this. Um, I'll go back to texture and create this. So 
so you get the jig so but i'm not going to be using it because i've already applied shadows to it so it will just mess everything up for me so from here on out i can just choose to apply i can add my contact details let's see i'll import an image to import i'll unselect and click on import let me say i want to add my instagram handle i can just click on this don't worry about this white background we can take it off to take it off you just go to eraser and click on this to erase it for you then you just apply smoothing i like to leave it from zero to five it's okay so you just click on it and scroll down let's say you want to put our instagram handle here then i'll just i'll resize to however i want then i'll click on this text icon to add my instagram at nd underscore also so Similarly, I will just go over to fonts and you can go to recent to see the recent font you've used. I used contour board, so I'll just stick to it. Then I'll align it. Mm, this I can add texture to it, but uh, let me just go ahead and apply texture to this. So you see the textures in action. I'll still choose this. Then I'll add shadows to my object to make it look 3D. I'll add the 3D text and reduce it to about one or two. Let's do two and make it dark to 83%. Apply my shadow and set it to oh, an offset of minus five for the x index and one for the y index similarly i'll apply the same effect to this object let me make it you can apply an impulse but i'm not going to use that i'll just add shadows to it and set it also to minus five and one then i can choose to make it 3d too and set this one to one okay let's do two for consistency i set it to about 83 or so yeah there we have it so we can once done we can match all these designs together and apply the final touch you can see i made a mistake but with the alignment but it's still okay so i can resize it now and do a 3d rotate off using the one index of 20. um i can make a 3d shape then this i like to reduce to one and just darken it a little bit then you can apply shadows to to this um, 
um, I'll reduce the opacity to about 5 and also set my Z index to minus 5 and 1. So this is it. We are almost done. So one last thing to apply is the Photoshop mock-up background to give it that 3D motion image. So to apply this, you just head over to this tab and click on from gallery and you locate where your image is. I'll send you the image so you can apply it. So you just click on it and select the size, then you apply it to your design. You can choose to resize it. Yeah, there you have it. A basic 3D logo. A basic 3D logo for your brand. And you can, once done, you can save it to your device. I like to select ultra high dimension for to get the highest quality for the for the image. So once done, your image has been saved, and you can go to your gallery and assess it. Yeah, yeah, it's our um, fictitious logo. Okay, there's another thing I can do from Pixel Lab. Let me just show you a quick tutorial. I can save this as a project so I can come back to it. Let me just save it as ND Media G. So I can view my projects here. Yeah? and choose whichever one I want to work on. So from here now, let me just remove this. It's already saved. Then I'll import and do something from, something I did from Pixel Lab. And from PixArt, I will finish it up here. So remember our son travels. I will import it here. and go to eraser to remove erase color oh shit i forgot i applied the color is non white background so it's not going to happen but i will send a video of how i designed from pix from pix art and finished up on pixel now for you in the description below so you can watch it and but one thing i would like to point out is that it doesn't have a sound but from this basic tutorial you can apply it and get the check on how to go about it thank you and i'll see you in the next one